Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to another quick Flutter tutorial. I just love Flutter because it allows us to develop for multiple different platforms and I truly believe it is the cross-platform development framework. <clears throat> React Native. This naturally begs the question of how to deal with different screen sizes. So the widget of the day is called Media Query, which allows us to retrieve some important details about the device we're currently running on, like the screen dimensions, aspect ratio, and the orientation of the screen. So let me show you how to do this by jumping into the code. Now to keep everyone on the same page, in my main function, I'm just running my app, which is running my home page, which is just a stateless widget. And I've got inside here a blank scaffold. And in the middle, I just want to display a column of text. So the first one I want to show you is the height. So if I say media query dot of context, this will tell us all the information that we currently need. So right now I'm looking at the size and there's a lot of options here that we can have a look at. So let's pick height and this will return a double value, like a numerical value. So we're going to need to convert this to a string so that I can display it as a text. And there it is. So it tells us that it's 200. 96. Now I just want to increase the font size so that we can all see this. So I'm going to go back to my app and in this theme, I'm just going to set the entire font to be very large because I'm going to have a lot of text widgets here. Okay, now if I just copy this and I do the same thing for the width, it should display how wide the current screen is. And of course we can get the aspect ratio. Now let me just clean the way this column is structured. So check out my column widget of the day video if you need. But if I just specify these cross and main axis alignment, I just want to clean this up. And also for the aspect ratio, it looks like the decimal, it's giving us so many decimals. So I'm going to say to string as fixed and we can fix this to say two decimal place. Now I'm showing you this on a Chrome browser because we can easily just change the screen sizes around and you can see that the numbers are adjusting itself accordingly. Now the other useful bit of information that you can get from media query is the orientation. So this is whether it's portrait or landscape. So whether it's a Chrome browser or like an iPhone or an Android or whatever device you're using on, it's really important to know what the orientation is, right? Are we portrait or are we landscape? So those are the main options that you'll end up using most of the time. But of course you can see in the media query, there's also a bunch of other options that you can have a look at. So there's like padding, the platform brightness, um, some text information, things like that. So if you're developing for Flutter, I would say media query is also a must know widget because it easily allows us to get the screen dimension of all the different devices that we're working on, which is what Flutter is made for. So hopefully that was easy to understand. If you have any questions, just let me know below. And other than that, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Laters.